it's a bit deep, shall I say it? <laughs> it's that... Um, Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Nicola Gore. I'm a dentist in North London and I'm actually Zoe's educational supervisor. Um, I've been very lucky to have Zoe thank with you. me and thank you for asking me to be here uh, to play the game of Viva Voce and I'm really, really super excited to be here. Let's get started. Yeah, excellent. Okay. <laughs> Would you rather be too hot or too cold? I'd rather be too cold. Okay, so you're generally... Yeah, yeah. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm, because I'm such a warm person, mm. <laughs> my personality... Inside and out. Inside and oh. out. And I think when it, when, when it gets really too hot, I get flustered mm. and I can't think. Mm. But when it's colder, I feel like um, I'm in control. Mm. And, um, you know, like if you look at um, food which is left in a freezer or in a fridge, it lasts longer than when you have food outside yeah. in the heat, yeah? So I feel that like when I'm in the cold, in a cold, I can work better and I feel fresher. That's a weird yeah. analogy. Uh, honestly, but that's how I feel. Yeah. How, how about you? I think I'd rather be too hot. I'm, I get, I hate it when I'm cold. Ali uh -huh. knows this as well. And <laughs> for example, whenever we come into the studio, uh -huh. the floor is always cold uh -huh. and my feet get really cold. Really? So I always complain to Ali that he didn't turn the heater on. <laughs> So yeah, even yeah. even when it's like slightly cold, I've uh -huh. always got loads of layers on and things yeah. like that. So yeah, I think I'd rather be yeah. too hot. Can I do it? Yeah. Oh, I know the answer to this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's your favorite snack? I think what you're thinking of is my favorite fruit, which yeah. is, is a banana. Yeah. Okay, that's my favorite fruit. Yeah. Uh huh. My favorite snack. Okay, it's really weird. I have a few weird snacks that I have. I don't mm -hmm. know, maybe like we tend to sometimes have them in Iran. Yeah. Ready salted crisps with uh -huh. ketchup. Uh -huh. Ooh, really? Yeah, I know it sounds okay. weird. And, uh -huh. then, and also ready salted crisps with Greek yogurt. Oh, so you like crumble it into the Greek yogurt. I love yogurt. that. Yeah. Oh my God, that's a real like Iranian thing. Yeah, though, exactly. Isn't we it? Have it, and yeah. in, in Iran, it's like we get this yogurt, yeah. we call it musta musi, yeah. which is like garlic oh, yogurt. Oh, yum. And yeah, I yeah. love that with crisps. Yeah, that is. Actually, I used to do that a lot in Iran. Oh, really? We used to crumble the crisps in the bag, like oh, crumble yes, exactly. it in the bag, yeah. yeah, and then put it in yogurt, mix it up, and eat yeah. it like when I came from school. Yeah. Yeah. I, did, I think the first time I had at uni, mm -hmm. I was with my flatmates and I, uh -huh. I, I made it and they were just watching me. They were so confused. Like, what's this guy <laughs> doing? Like, I was crunching the crisps, pouring it in yogurt, uh -huh. and they were just looking at me. What's this weird thing <laughs> okay. What do you wish you could spend more time doing? Oh, that's a very deep question. <laughs> um, I wish I had more time to spend uh, with my husband. Okay. He's right there. <laughs> yeah, because he's sitting behind me, so he's probably it's very you. appropriate to say that. Uh, it's just because I, um, as you know, I split myself in, in 10 to, mm. to, be with, to be on top of everything. But sometimes I think I take him for granted Aww. that he's there, he's going to be there all the time. And um, obviously he's part of everything, like delegation stuff. <laughs> but I don't feel like we have quality time together that mm. much. So um, I, I like to make time as well yeah. to spend time with him. Mm -hmm. uh, more quality, not just like coming in, cooking and feeding the kids or, mm. you know, uh, doing the stuff we have to do, but just more quality, like traveling. And my traveling is not like just sleeping on a beach. I like mm. to do activities like bungee jumping or oh, yeah. kayaking or things like that. And yeah. uh, I know he loves that. So, Aww. yeah, that would be... That would be lovely. That would be lovely. What do you think your next activity would be? Um, I, I really like jumping out of a plane. <laughs> Have you done it yet? I've done it once oh, wow. in Australia. Okay. And I really want to do it again. It was the best experience. And wow. um, I, I jumped out of a plane, a Cessna, mm -hmm. in, in Australia, 10,000 feet. Oh, wow. Yeah, but it was a tandem. So you're mm. with the instructor. Okay, uh, so you're it, stuck. You're to stuck them. to okay. the instructor, but still, you're the first one who has to roll out of the mm, plane. You're in control of... No, but then you just don't want to do it. Yeah. You sit there and you're like procrastinating, thinking, mm. oh, no, 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 I changed my mind. But you just, you just do it, it and it's the best experience. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's so that amazing. would be one thing which I'd really like to Hopefully do again uh, with, with my husband. Is it your turn or mine? It's my turn. Oh, okay. Ooh, that's a good one. I like the question. What type of social situation makes you feel most awkward? Um, going into 
mm-hmm. a social situation where I don't know what's happening. Mm-hmm. So a social situation where I kind of just get invited to an event, yeah. but I'm unsure who's going to be there, how many uh-huh. people are going to be there, uh-huh. what's on the itinerary, like what's happening. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And I kind of just have to go in blind. So you're not in control. I think I get anxious or nervous not knowing what I'm about to step into. Uh-huh. Does it make you feel more, do you get more quiet or do you get more yes. bubbly? I Which get more way? quiet. Okay. Shall I give you a tip? Go on. <laughs> what I do is when, I, when, I'm, when I'm nervous about doing something or walking into a situation where there's so many people and mm. maybe I don't know anyone, so I always think to myself that I'm the best. <laughs> <laughs> like the best in the room? I'm the best in okay. the room. I'm the best in the room. There's nobody who is mm. better than me in this mm. room. And that gives me, and there might be people, well, of course, they're better mm-hmm. than me. You know, I, I, I am humble. <laughs> but that I feed that into my, my energy to say that I am the best. Mm-hmm. And that gives me that confidence to go in. And I know I'm not mm-hmm. that, but it just, you give yourself a pep talk and always just walking up to people even you don't know and introducing yourself. Yeah. I have to get yeah. better at that. Yeah, but you are good. I, I've okay. seen you at work and you are very good. Thank you. Thank so, you. yeah, you just uh, need to work on it a bit yeah. more. Yeah. You guys are in front of the camera all the time. I know, it's weird. <laughs> I know. But I guess yeah. it's just the camera, there's not people. If it yeah. was like a camera and an audience, I think yeah. that'd be a bit different. Yeah. But it's fine. Let's, let's talk about that in five years. Let's five see years, like, we'll yeah. see how it goes. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so mm-hmm. you have to replicate the following sound only using your voice. <laughs> So I think Ali's gonna uh-huh. bring Ali's gonna bring <laughs> an object. Uh-huh. The object is gonna make a sound, uh-huh. and then you're gonna have to make that sound only okay. with only your voice. Okay. All right. Okay. Are you ready? So after the sound uh, is made, you have to make it with your voice. Okay. Oh. <laughs> That's <was> right. <laughs> <laughs> only because I can say the word <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Farsi has the ch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, exactly. And that's the only reason I did it. That's really good. Make it hundred percent. Yeah. <laughs> well done. <laughs> oh, that was a difficult one. Thank mm-hmm. you, Ali. <laughs> <laughs> Very impressed. <laughs> Is it my turn? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is such a nice question. Guys, your questions are amazing. Oh. What turns a friend into a best friend? Oh, okay. Ali's looking at me. Uh, like, <laughs> um, uh-huh. I think, so, okay, so you know, I just said I get anxious, nervous, and yeah, things yeah. like that. I uh-huh. think so, someone who's a best friend to me is someone I can be super comfortable around. Mm-hmm. For example, mm-hmm. who would sit in a room yeah. or sit in the car for an hour in complete silence and I wouldn't feel awkward. Mm. Like I'm that comfortable with yeah. you. So you don't feel they judge you. They'll judge me. I don't mm. feel the pressure to make conversation yeah. or to force anything. Yeah, naturally. I don't know, it sounds weird. I don't know. No, That's but I know what I you mean. Because there's some people that you you want to t- you talk to and the conversation just keeps coming to dead end. Yeah. And you just think this conversation's not progressing. Mm. But with your best friend, um, even if you're not talking, you're talking. Is there any other thing about your... And I think, yeah. of course, then... then it, uh-huh. I think you, you go into it a bit deeper, like how mm-hmm. loyal you are to each mm-hmm. other and how much mm-hmm. you have each other's backs, mm-hmm. looking out for each other. Yeah. Um, you know, re- yeah. noticing when they're in a good mood, bad mood, and trying That's to like. That's the thing. You know, That's the thing. You mm. know when your best friend is exactly. not well. You know yeah. when you're. You almost have telepathy with mm-hmm. them, isn't it? Yeah. And you can sense it that yeah. they're stressed or they're not well or they're not happy. Yeah. And it doesn't. You don't. The friendship doesn't have to be like long, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. It can be even six months friendship. Exactly. But you still you click with that yeah. person. Exactly. Yeah. The telepathy is real. Yeah. And just realizing, like, because I try to sometimes hide my emotions yeah. and stuff. Yeah. But my bestest friends. Even when I'm trying to act normal, they can tell when I'm off yeah. or there's something wrong with yeah. me. And to be honest, in the short period of time, I can sense you, really? like when you're stressed, when you're upset or something hasn't gone according to plan at work. Oh, really? I can really literally sense it mm. with you. Even with the mask on. Even with the mask. Yeah, even I, I walk into the surgery mm. and you're doing some difficult dentistry and I can sense that it. Look I the give aura you. or the look or the look of fear <laughs> in your eyes. Like, oh, just take this tooth out. <laughs> oh, yeah. So yeah, I can I can sense it. Mm. But I think it it um you, with you, you're such a warm person oh, that you. people warm up to you very easily. Oh, I find that really and I find you. even with you know people around you they all mm. warm up to you very easily. I think I was saying this to Ali before mm. about you as well. I feel like you're such a like 
<laughs> you know, everyone feels really comfortable mm. around you, oh, but just from the nice. way you're like, the way you talk and the way you're mm. positive and stuff like that. Oh. And I see it at work as well, to oh, be honest. Oh, thank you. And I think you're good at judging people as well, and judging their character and uh-huh. adjusting the way you talk and. Oh, by the way, this is not, not the game for uh, Viva Watcher. This is mutual admiration society. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is us just. Yeah. This is my education system, guys. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> no. Oh, thank you. It's thank true. you, Zoe. It's thank so you. nice to hear That's that. It's your turn. My turn to ask you, yeah? Yeah. What's the best gift you've ever given? Who did you give it to? Mm -hmm. The best gift. Oh my God. That's a difficult one. Mm. Um, I feel one of my um, best gifts that I gifted somebody, which made me feel like I've achieved it, is... um, I, um, it's a bit deep, shall I say it? <laughs> it's that um, I think I gifted life to my mom. Oh. Yeah, because my mom had a very uh, big operation. Mm. And uh, she had, she offered the operation, this is like, I'm talking about three years, two years ago. Mm-hmm. She went into um, ICU and then she, she, they wouldn't let me in the ICU because you know how limited it is with mm. space. So um, I forced myself in. And while I was in ICU, I could see that my mom, um, my mom was, her face was swelling and she couldn't breathe. Mm. And everybody was so busy trying to connect her with stuff. They didn't even notice that. And then uh, when, then, then when I pointed out, then they all like started panicking. It was like 3 a.m. Oh they didn't know what to do. And, um, and I was like telling them like, maybe we should do a tracheostomy or maybe we should just give her Ventolin or I don't know, nebulizer or something. Mm-hmm. And then they were also panicking. They wanted to call the doctor. The doctor on call was like miles away. It was just like a mess. Yeah. And then finally they brought a nebulizer for my mom. Oh and my after God. half an hour, she calmed down and I calmed her down. Till this date, my mm-hmm. mom says you saved my life. Oh my God, that's amazing. Till this date, she says wow. that you saved my life. So I think um, that was the best gift I gave her. I can't think of anything else better than that. Yeah, and that's I think amazing. the gift of life is the best thing. And even when I was 11, I did the same thing for my mom. Oh, wow. Because we were in Iran-Iraq war. Mm-hmm. And my mom, uh, it was a red alert. Uh, I was by 11, 12. And uh, my dad had gone to war because mm-hmm. my dad was a surgeon and he had to go to war and you know, do, um, you know, amputate the soldier's legs and stuff. Mm. So red alert, we come running down um, and my mom wanted to get us inside. And what happened was um, she uh, broke the door, which was all glass with her Mm. leg and to get uh, the kids in. And um, then she pulled her leg out and all the glass was like Mm. sharp, like knife. And she tore all her ligaments and everything. And it was so dark because of the red alert, we couldn't see anything. And, um, but then I could see there was a smell of blood, Mm. looked on the floor when my mom collapsed and Mm. uh, it was blood. And then we called the ambulance, they wouldn't come. Finally, I wrapped her. I had just done first aid in school. I wrapped her leg really hard, put it high. I gave her sugary stuff. And it was all dark. We couldn't see anything, age of 11. So, um, and then it's a long, long story because it was a war. Mm. And um, anyway, again, uh, so my mom believes in me wow. <laughs> that every time there's an issue, yeah. I will, I will You're save her life. Exactly. Oh so God. I might be her guardian angel. You I don't really know. Are. Yeah. That's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> so this is, these are the best gifts. So for me, gift is not material. Yeah. Gift is something you cannot buy. Gift mm. is something you do. Yeah. That's my honest opinion. Wow. And I don't think like, uh, you know, people gifting you an expensive stuff means anything, mm. but it's those memories which stay. Wow. Yeah. That was amazing. I'm, I'm like, <laughs> I've got goosebumps just listening to all of this. <laughs> wow. Oh, it, it's all true. And that's uh, going to come up in my next book. Oh, yes. <laughs> That would be amazing yeah, to read. Yeah, wow. so in my in my uh, memoirs. Mm. Yeah, so it, it, it. You must have so many stories. So many, and you know, Zoe, when I'm working with patients and I'm doing long treatments, we're talking about this yeah, all the time. I've noticed it. And, and and then sometimes Tanya's like, I said, Tanya, like, give me bond, and she goes, Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was like <laughs> in this war now, yeah, <laughs> in a war the... zone. Yeah. Oh my God. So you know, uh, it it has been amazing, and all my patients know all my stories because mm. I tell. I'm talking to them and I think that's how we connect. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's how we connect. So, yeah, but um, I'll keep you posted when I write my book. Yes. <laughs> yes. Watch out, guys. And watch out. Yeah. Yes. That'll be amazing. Yeah. I can't wait to read it. Oh, oh. it's coming out soon. Okay, ready? <laughs> oh, these are really good questions. If you could see your future, would you want would you want to? Oh, so if I could see, see my future, would, would you I want, want to? to see it? Yeah, um, that's a cool question. So a part of me obviously just wants to say yes because I want mm -hmm. to know what my future is like. If I can see my future, I feel like it's almost just spoiled. Yeah. Like you know, it's like yeah. watching a movie, but, but start you but, know what's good, what the ending is yeah, like. Exactly. Then you don't enjoy you know the whole movie yeah. because you know what the ending will be like. So if I if mm. I know what I'm going to be like when I'm 50 years old or 60 mm. years old, I feel like I won't really enjoy the path there. I don't know. Yeah, it's weird. I think um, if you know the future, then you uh, you will change. Today, yes, that's the thing. You know. overthink every action. Exactly. Will, will what I'm doing affect that outcome exactly. that I have seen? Yeah. So you're constantly gonna have that in your mind. Mm. But you know what? It's nothing stopping you from from actually imagining yourself what you're gonna be in mm. the future. Yeah. Nothing stopping you from that because that will make you succeed. Mm. If Give you, you like imagine goal, something to exactly, work you imagine yourself this big short or whatever you mm. want to be and then you work towards it so yeah. that is i think that's better than that is looking future, at then, your future it? isn't yeah, it exactly yeah it, it is it was a really good question i enjoyed yeah. that yeah okay. <laughs> if you could make a candle out of any scent what would it be Ooh, that's a good one you love uh, your candles don't you i love candles yeah, yeah. um jasmine and lily your children. <laughs> my children <laughs> yeah i love jasmine flower mm -hmm. And I love Lily Flower, and that's why I, I, we named our kids Jasmine and Lily. Mm. So if it's going to, I love Jasmine tea. I love Lily yeah. flowers, and I think uh, the candle will be a mixture of that and bergamo. And bergamo, what's yeah, that? Yeah, that's it's a it's a tree in oh, Italy. Okay. Um, it's a tree because bergamo is is a town in mm -hmm. Italy. It's like up north in Italy, and um, it, I think people ski there as well. Okay. And um, then there's certain trees which grow there, which, mm. are, which and they are have like a really nice scent. Really okay. nice scent. It's like more like eucalyptus okay. style scent. So yeah. mixture of that and so jasmine and lily, all three together. You can blend oh, well together. it'd be so nice. It'd be like okay. being in a spa every day. If anyone out there makes custom candles, yeah. Please. <laughs> <laughs> because amazing. I always, you know, I know for safety you shouldn't put candles in the surgery, mm. but I do. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Not, not not in Harrow, but in Totridge, I, yeah. I put candles because I just love the scent. And yeah. I think patients like it. They come in, they feel like it's more mm. like a spa rather yeah. than like they're having the teeth drilled. Yeah. It so makes nice, a nice experience. Jazz yeah. music mm. and some candles. Mm. And then the dentist with the hood. <laughs> <laughs> the scary one. Yeah, too. exactly. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I think, uh, you know, it just uh, those scents calm you down mm. and make, make you feel you're not like, working or like yeah. you know it, it gives you that nice sense yes you can't forget the right time i think it's good your turn, yeah. turn. <laughs> <laughs> show your oldest photo in your gallery Ooh. do you have your oh, phone i have you? my phone can i have my phone <laughs> wait i don't know why it says first of jan 1980 but that would be the first one do you remember when that was roughly it's in the car and um, I don't think it was social media then. Maybe, so just I don't a know. Taken. So it's just a selfie of myself because I love myself. Oh, and the second one. Oh my God, the second one. Oh, so that's, like yeah. a, that's like an old friend. Oh, right? so this is something my friend sent me uh, on WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll tell you when. 11th of March, 2015, oh, wow. she sent it to me. But this is when I when I had just qualified as a VT. Do you want to hold it yourself? Yeah, sure. And then, um, so in that picture, you will see me. Mm -hmm. You'll see Furzan, my friend. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, Maliha and Leila, we were all at guys together. Mm -hmm. But um, Furzan was a year above me. Um, that's me. Leila was two years below me. Maliha was a, a year below me. And this was taken in Heathrow, and you can guess who was going on holiday. <laughs> Furuzan, she got all her luggage. Oh, yeah, she got all her luggage. Yeah. Oh, my God. So, she, so this, was, this is the oldest picture. How 
what a coincidence. Oh my God. Yeah, it really look like looks like you. Still? Yeah. Oh my God. I could tell, like when I looked at yeah, it instantly. That I looks could tell like that me. Was you. Oh my and God. Uh, this was taken in must have been taken in 1990. I qualified in 93, mm -hmm. so it must have been taken in 95. Oh wow. Uh, that's a really good. That's one. a good question. Yeah. You might have. I think so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I used to do this when I was young. Play rock, paper, scissors. Best of three gets to ask any question. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> do you know how to do it? I Ready? can't remember. It's been ages. So I'll say... So paper is like this. Yeah. And then rock is like yeah, this and scissors. scissors. Like this. Yeah, okay. I'll say three, two, one, go. Okay. On go, show uh -huh. your whatever. Okay. Yeah? Three, two, one, go. Okay, so you win. Okay. <laughs> so I get to ask it. Yes. No, but it says get, you have three goals, no? Oh, was okay. it? It was a best of three. I think so. Okay. That's okay, you can do one. Best of it. Can we do one? Okay, okay. we'll do one. It's okay. Okay. Ask you any question? Oh, I'm nervous now. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> Anything? I guess so. <laughs> um, if you were not to be a dentist, mm -hmm. what would you like to be profession wise? Um, I think it's changed over the last however many uh -huh. years because I've started doing YouTube and all uh -huh. this video stuff yeah. since like August. Uh -huh. I've really gotten into it. Uh -huh. So all this like photography, yeah. videography, mm -hmm. like using all the different equipment, yeah. like making You're promotional content it. and stuff like that. I, yeah. I'm really into it at the moment. Yeah. Um, I think I enjoy that a lot right really? now. So maybe be like going to either cinematography, videography, mm -hmm. something like that. Mm. And I think or I'm maybe gonna link it like what you're doing now to yeah. dentistry. No, definitely, isn't it? I like, think no, Ali and I are already doing it. Yeah, so. exactly. And you could be doing promotional videos mm -hmm. and like you know things like that, yeah. um, or like on courses and things mm -hmm. like that. And I yeah. think yeah, uh, that's a good one. I think so. Yeah, photography yeah. or videography. What contribution do you want to make to the world? Oh, he knows me. <laughs> That's why you wanted me to do this, uh, this question. Um, in, in this world, um, I think not many people help each other. Mm. And I think people want to put a foot on another person to get higher place. That's my opinion anyway. Mm -hmm. I hope I'm not offending anyone. Uh, but I, I, I want to show the world that you can get to somewhere not by putting your foot on someone mm -hmm. okay you can do it yourself uh, and on along the way you can help others mm -hmm. yeah so like um by me setting up bida and being the president of, of my own association which mahmoud always says that this is the only way you could have become a president mm -hmm. by setting up your own association <laughs> so but, so me and mahmoud you know we co-found bida after the pandemic or during the pandemic mm. because we just found that nobody wants to help each other in yeah. any way and people were suffering financially mentally people felt lonely and we thought by setting this up we can actually reach out to people yeah. and during the pandemic we did to a lot of dentists to nurses to people in my own profession mm -hmm. and um and not just that, uh, by the feedback I got from the dental students is that they felt more supported yeah. because we were, they felt they've got like, you know, they were not worried about work experience. They were not worried about not qualifying mm. on time because I was telling them that, you know, I will help them with the society. We'll do this. We, we did a few, um, you know, Zoom meetings and stuff. So uh, the answer is uh, I, I personally want to have more teamwork. Okay. You know, in the world, and I just think, and I think I can achieve that because yeah. I am, I am like five percent of the way there. But I've got such good people around me now that I think I can yeah. do that, and I want to leave a legacy behind that. Um, you know, you can do stuff with your mm. own hard work, and you don't have to cut out on life. You do, you can do any everything. Yeah. You can do your sports, you can do your work, but on the other yeah. hand, you can do other things as well, yeah. and um, you don't have to step on other people's feet to do yeah. that, to say, I'm the best. It's yeah. not about being the best, is it? No, exactly. It's about adding value to society. Yeah. And it's not about saying, oh, Nicola Gore's the best, or Zoe's the best. Mm. No, it's look what Zoe and Ali have added. Mm -hmm. You know, look what they've brought into the dental profession. That's that's my opinion. You yeah. know? It's not about Zoe and Ali being the best, mm. okay? You are very good, you are very good, but if, if one, the, the time when we consider ourselves to be the best is when we never progress. Mm. So we need to we need to be 
creating new stuff all yeah. the time. Yeah. yeah, but not at the expense of others. Exactly. I yeah. think you're doing so great as well. You've got Bida, you've got your other projects starting yeah. out as well. Um, I think you're going to yeah. be amazing. Well. And the project which is on in the pipeline, in the pipeline. which I'm so excited yes. about, hopefully next month. Yeah. Watch this space. Watch this space. <laughs> Watch this space. <laughs> yes. Two projects. Yeah. yeah, so, uh, you know, all this is, uh, you know, it wouldn't happen without sharing. Mm -hmm. If I kept it all to myself exactly. and I said, this is my project, I'm going to hide it, I'm not going to tell anyone about mm -hmm. it, then uh, it will never progress. I'll never succeed. Like, if you work to do things on your own, you would never. Mm -hmm. exactly. the, or the, you will succeed, but it will be very slow. Yeah. But when you have good people and you share it, then everybody takes a little bit off it and everybody takes a little bit of credit around it. But that's how you're going to progress. Yeah. You know, that's yeah. how, otherwise, how are we going to progress in life? Mm. So, um, you know, um, and sometimes on Instagram and I'm watching Instagram, I get the feeling that people feel they, it belittles people. Mm. Sometimes people get worried about the work is not good enough because look at so one's doing 10 veneers yeah. and doing that that you know people who are doing uh, this cosmetic work and this is not good do a good filling and you'll still be a good dentist yeah. you yeah. know so the patient's it's not, not in pain so you haven't cut your patient's tongue you, you've you looked after you've held your patient go to reception you yeah. you know you've supported them you've rang them the day after after a yeah. bad extraction so this is far more important yeah. than, than doing 10 veneers on a patient and saying my patient loves her smile because I just think those soft touches mm -hmm. is what's going to put you ahead of the game. Yeah. Yeah. Are you with There's me? There's more and to being a good dentist yeah. than just like massive yeah, cases. Exactly. And, and like this that. is what the point I want to get across mm -hmm. in the world. That it's the soft touches which matter. Not those hard. I mean, the, those veneers in 10 years, they'll fail. Yeah. But then Zoe and Ali will remain mm. because of the kind attitude they had. The nice, the, oh. They were nice people, you know. Your names will stay. So that is, that is what we need to get across in this world. That's amazing. So thank you so much, Dr. Go, for being on the show. I really Pleasure. enjoyed it today. Um, I can't wait to see all the projects that you have coming up mm -hmm. and sharing it with our viewers as well. Oh, it was such a pleasure being here, Zo. I really enjoyed all your questions. They're like, they were all from the heart, wow. and it was just so so nice, and it's uh, just made the, the day so nice. I'm Aww. so happy I came. Thank you so much, and thank you to you and to Ali uh, for creating this. Mm. I think this is it shows the softer side of the dentist, and I think uh, it's a really nice thing you guys are doing. So I wish you all the best and success for both of you in the future. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you for asking me. <laughs>